Alright guys, we're back, and this time we are talking about witch cults. That's right, I got it right. <laughs> Not covens. Okay, Wes, t- tell me about them. Oh man, this is where the fun happens. <laughs> I love the witch cults. I'm all about the cults. Yeah. Um, so, do you want a basic overview? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. So essentially, uh, the witch cults are the, the, in Komora, which is the dark city where the, the Drukhari live. Uh, they run the arenas. They... they uh, run these giant arenas and they, they fight creatures and space marines and custodies and they, they kill and they cause lots of pain and grief and the dark elves are really grow and keep their souls essentially by by causing all this pain and grief so they're, they're entertainers uh, and then when it comes to actually the real space raids a uh, narcon from a cabal will hire these guys in to, to come and help round up prey to take back to the that, that's pretty cool so they're just gladiators aren't they, they they're essentially very dark Space elf gladiators. <laughs> that's pretty much that. Uh, generally, uh, generally female, very agile and very fast. So yeah. Pretty so neat. they're broken down into different cults, aren't they, in this codex? So yeah, so there's different cults, and they also get combat drugs as well, which is mm. uh, just quite a nice, yeah. unique part of it. Yeah. Which one do we go first? Uh, I think probably talk about the the combat drugs. Probably a good place to start. Yeah, yeah great. Uh, so the combat drugs. Um, <laughs> despite what they say, do drugs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Only with, only with the with the plastic marines. Yeah. So, right? Okay. Yeah. So, um, so combat drugs. Uh, each unit within the um, the witch cults can pretty much take combat drugs, um, and they give different benefits. So there's two ways of taking it. There's six different combat drugs you can take. You can roll randomly for each one, or you can select. Yeah. Um, but you can't select the same one twice until you've selected all the drugs, which is a nice way of kind of balancing out a little bit. Yeah. Um, so running through those. So we've yeah. got uh, plus one strength. Sorry, correction. Plus one attack. And then plus one strength, uh, plus two inch to your movement, uh, plus one toughness, plus one weapon skill, and uh, plus two to your leadership. Yeah. What do you think about those? I, I really like the uh, the plus the plus one strength because actually, if you there's quite a lot of units which are t- which are strength three in this codex, and if you make them strength four, they suddenly become a lot more effective. Like there's there's key strength strengths in the game which you try and make your units, isn't there? So Going from strength three to strength four means you're killing marines and a lot of the things in the game a lot more effectively, a lot more than if you just give them one extra attack. Yeah. Equally well, suddenly if you're going from strength three to strength four to strength five, again suddenly you're wound, you're wounding everything on threes like space marine equivalent um, or the tougher units you're wounding them on four still. Yeah. And even if you're uh, even if you're attacking tanks, you're still wounding them on for fours uh, fives even. So yeah, yeah I, I think those. Plus one strength is, is really nice for a combat army. Um, the other one, plus one toughness. The difference from being toughness three to being toughness four, suddenly you're not getting wounded by mass, you know, bolt of fire on threes, yeah. which, you know, for a, an, an essentially quite an elite army is, is huge. Yeah, it does make yeah. a difference. So they're, they're my two favorite ones. The two inch move, to us, there's, there's so many ways to get extra movement in this book anyway that it, it's not bad, but I think those other two are better. And, the plus one attack, you know, it's 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 pretty good, but um, I usually prefer the if you can modify that strength three, four, or five, I would do that over the plus one attack usually. Yeah. yeah. What's your thoughts? Anything else you'd say? Uh, no, I think you've covered most of the things there. Yeah. I think, yeah, the plus two they're a fast army anyway, generally, yeah. and if you're carrying the witches in boats anyway, you're going to, they're starting off with an eight inch, yeah. uh, getting out three inches, so they've got an 11 inch move just straight up there anyway, and with re-rolls with charges, etc. as well, you can get They, they don't need that, no. No, I don't necessarily think so. Right, so let's talk about witch cults. Yeah, so witch cults, so similar to the, uh, the Kabbalah sessions, yeah. where we have, but we have three this time, and you need to take everything within that detachment needs to have that cult. Unless it's a um, a guns for hire, and then in which case it's uh, sorry, plates for hire, in which case it doesn't yeah. uh, negate that. So the first one we've got is the Cult of Strife, which is uh, essentially a plus one attack on the charge, or when you have heroic intervention. I mean, that in itself is not bad for a close combat army. It's not my favourite, but it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. And mm. there are some nice stratagems that go with those as well, but yeah. we'll, we'll talk about those. Yeah, we'll talk about it when we cover the stratagems. Uh, so the next one we've got is the, uh, the Cursed Blade, which is uh, it's a plus one strength. And when you have your morale checks, you can only lose one person. I think that's nice. Like I was saying before with the, the combat drugs, plus one strength for an army, which is essentially strength three or strength four in combat, is huge. Yeah. Um, I think it generally works well with like large 
blobs of witches. Yeah. So you're going at the board, you're only going to you're going to lose lots on the way in, but because yeah. witches in particular are strength three, aren't they? So yeah, yeah, and uh, absolutely with the morale. Yeah. And then we have got the final one, which is the the red grief, which is you can advance and charge, and uh, re-roll your charge rolls. This is my favourite. Yeah, it's my favourite too. In a close combat sort of cult we've got here. If you're not in combat, you're not doing anything, whether you're strength three, strength four, or strength five, it doesn't matter. So the fact you can actually get into combat reliably is where it's at. Yeah. So I think, for me, extra movement with this advance and charge, particularly on the jet bikes, which get an extra eight inches. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the range is like 26 inch sort of move and advance, isn't it? And it's, then they charge. It's gnarly. You're getting first no. one charges, these guys. I think Red Grief is where it's at. Yeah. Well, that's, um, that's, it's, that's they're, they're all good, that's the thing. They're all yeah. good, but I think a, a sort of detachment wide advance and charge on a quick army anyway is huge. Yeah. Uh, agreed. I agree with you, Gibble, and I agree with uh, which cult I on the, the Red Grief. But it's my favourite. Yeah. Right, should we go... Th take me through the units, because that, that's where it's at. I think there's a better match here between the the obsessions or the the, the rules for these guys and the uh, and the units than there was in the cabals. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. it's, well, start at the start, uh, which is the HQ, mm -hmm. and it's the the succubus, and she is a beast dog. I love her. Um, she's coming in with a an eight inch move, which yeah. is nothing to be scoffed at. She's hitting on twos and uh, again tough to threes with four attack space. Uh, she has a six up save. However, the beautiful thing about her is that she has a four plus in run. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and with some of the uh, the wall tricks, actually, you can change that to a three up, which is mm. quite nice. Yeah, and she she takes a wicked relic, doesn't she? Because by herself, she's one damage in combat, isn't she? But strength strength five, but then she can boost herself up to d three damage, can't she? Yeah, so she comes as standard with the archite glaive, but if you take the rogue grief, which we yeah. think is the best anyway, uh, you can upgrade that to a. Um, yeah, plus three strength, minus three, and D three damage, which yeah. is pretty gnarly. Yeah, like we we're saying, with that you can you can potentially hurt vehicles with that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hurt your custodies next week. Don't you? Oh yeah, all custodies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, right. so I, I think she's she's a solid character, all right. Yeah, she she's a HQ choice. She's she HQ say? choice, and I'm planning to run three within my battalion detachment, and just have them go off and yeah. Uh, so the other thing as well. Is, yeah, one thing as well that I really like with her is that uh, there's another rule. It's called the no escape. Which is, when you try to leave combat next week, mm -hmm. uh, we have a roll off, and if unless you beat my dice roll, your guys aren't leaving combat. Which means that your uh, custodians on jet bikes oh. are stuck in combat with me, and I'm going to beat you to a pulp. How do you feel about that? I, I'm feeling fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've cool. just made this army, and you're just going to trash it, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Teach me for spamming jet bikes. Yeah. Anyway, so what else have we got in the um, in the cults? So I think it leads nicely on to the, the troop choice, which are the witches. Um, again... See, these are the guys with like a million attacks, aren't they? Well, yeah, or they get quite a few base, yeah. So they used to have a, a different unit now, but they're just witches, uh, which have two attack space, and their weapon gives them additional attack as well, so it's mm. essentially three attack space for, for the witches. They have a six up in button, unless they're in combat when it becomes a four up in button will save, which is quite nice. So these girls really want to be in combat. Yeah. So it brings us back to Red Grief, you want them in combat. Yeah. <laughs> so I just think about combat drugs, generally speaking, I'd have given the Succubus the plus one attack, and these girls probably yeah. that plus one strength. Is yeah, we're really having we're having a chat about that, whether you actually want the more more attacks or not, but actually being strength three base really hurts these girls, doesn't it? Yeah. And actually being strength four makes them a much, much better combat unit. Yeah. Unless you're beating up guard. But even if you're beating up guard, then you're wounding them on threes. Hey. <laughs> yeah, and to just talk about as well, and what I generally use these girls for is just tying units up in mm. combat. I've, I've given all my tricks away before we play the game next week. <laughs> but um, this Chardonnay and the Paler, which is a, uh, a weapon that you can take. Mm. So you know I said that we, can, we have a roll-off, and yeah. you have to beat me. Uh, if you have the Chardonnay and Paler uh, in a unit and in contact with your dudes, then you get a D3, and I get a D6, and then we roll off. It's fine. I just yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. tell me about the jet bikes. Uh, this is my favourite unit. Uh, they're my favourite. I, I when I started Dark Elder uh, Drukari or Dark Elder's one back then. Drukari, yeah, it's showing your age, aren't you? It's yeah. all. <laughs> it's all about the jet bikes. <laughs> You're not much further behind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're beautiful models, and they are fast. Uh, I love these things. 
Yeah, uh, eighteen inch range, uh, eight inch movement with an eight inch automatic uh, advanced yeah, movement. Yeah, so this is where the red grief really comes into its own, isn't it? Yeah. So they've got twenty six effective sort of move before they're advancing, and they re-roll the charge range, do they? Yeah. Yeah. So th these guys are just. I mean, even if they're just sort of tying up stuff, like if you're facing off against Imperial Guard, even if like bearing in mind stuff isn't going to be screened as much anymore since the FAQ. Yep. These guys are going to be awesome. Just going to get in there, tie up those tanks, and then the rest of your army can move in. Yeah, there's, there's some there's some great things with these guys as well. They're, they're so um, I, I use them as my utility uh, units. Mm. They're they're really fast to get across the, the board to tie things up. Uh, you can give them special weapons. So for every three dudes, uh, you can give them either a blaster, yeah, uh, which you already love, and the the heat lance. Uh, which is actually what I go for. It's a bit of a controversial one. It's, it's assault, isn't it? It is assault. Yeah. So I like that. So it keeps them moving. Yeah. Um, it's only strength uh, six. It's minus four. However, yeah. it does D6 damage. But if you're in half range, which is nine inches. Which they will be because they're so damn fast. So fast. Yeah. Then you get to roll 2D6 mm. and you pick the highest. Yeah. So most things, like vehicles, you're winning on a five. But it's not getting an armor save. And you're rolling 2D6. No. And you can I, I think... I think the way forward with these is actually character sniping. Yeah. Because they're so fast and they've got fly, you drop in behind hide a character and actually that sort of D6 damage, that's huge. And then you can finish them off in combat. Whereas against the vehicle, it'll probably do something like, say, strength six isn't that great, but using their mobility to get to get past the character rule, I think that those blast, well, it's not blaster, it's a heat lance. Heat lance. I, th I think that's the way forward with those. And it's assault because these guys are going to be advancing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, there's more, okay. <laughs> so not only do these guys move super quickly when they're going around the board as well. There's actually a beautiful strategy as well that you can uh, to use. It's one command point. Yeah. And as you go to the top, it's essentially them using their their blades on the the sides of their vehicles, and on for each guy you mm -hmm. roll a d6. If it's an infantry unit, uh, it wounds on a five, and it's a mortal wound. Is this where they go over units? Over the, so uh, as they pass over the top of a unit, can you do it to more than one unit or nominate? Just one. Just one. Oh, so uh, showed you some, some level of restraint, yeah. did they? So, <laughs> in sense of rules, if you roll a six, the unit suffers a mortal wound, unless it's infantry, which gets plus mm. one. And they do, it in, do they do it when they charge into combat as well? They do some mortal wounds. Yes, so there's well. more mortal wound shenanigans with these yeah. guys. So, as they charge in, uh, there's the Grav Talon, which does a, a mortal wound on a four. Yeah. And then there's the other one, which is Cust Caltrops, which means as you leave combat with them, uh, there's a chance of you suffering more time. Oh, sorry, am I allowed to leave combat with this? These you... ones you can. Okay, oh, that's okay. nice. It's good. Yeah, well, I've got to give you something. So, by far and away, these are my favourite units. Uh, I've got like 36 of them, uh, and I've, I've run them for quite a long time. Yeah, you can take a big unit, I assume. Uh, units 12? Yeah, I, I, I think it's a way to run as big units, actually. Yeah. Particularly with this... Um, this you do you sort of no more than three units in an army of anything. And it, I always used to use multiple small units with these guys, but now I've gone to one large unit twelve, and I give them the, the plus one toughness and so make them yeah. toughness five. Yeah, uh, I, I think yeah that that's better than the plus one strength for you guys. Yeah, definitely. So bring that toughness, and there's also the stratagem as well that you play with these guys, which is when you shoot me, I can declare, uh, and uh, for two command points, I can make it minus one to hit. So minus one to hit them, plus one toughness. Yeah, they're, they're they're not to be scoffed at at all. No, they're good. So, what else have we got for? Uh... Uh, so, we've got the Helions. Yeah. Um, generally looked down upon in previous codices, but I actually quite like them now. Okay. Um, so, essentially, their weapon is a plus one strength, so it's strength four base, yep. and it does two damage, which is not bad. They're, not, they're pretty fast, aren't they? 14 inches? 14 inches as well. Mm -hmm. So, I, I personally think, given them the drugs, it makes them plus one strength, makes them strength five. Yeah. And two damage. There's no no uh, AP on it, but actually, yeah. it's taken out of primary mm. sky every time. It's favoring an arm save, which is quite nice. I, I still think I prefer the bikes. I do, I do, but I, I think they're kind of filling the same role of a fast, a salty unit. Yeah. So just just to advocate these a little bit more. Maybe you can take them in squad to twenty, mm. which when they're doing that flyover attack, that's twenty dice. Yeah. Do they get the auto advance in eight, eight inches or? No, you have to roll for them. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's, with the, it's adding in that level of variability, whereas I think having a known movement and known advance is, is better for planning your turn. They, st they still have the power from pain, so they will get the re-rolls from, from yeah. that. But no, I, I'm totally with you, and I uh, I run the Reavers um, quite a lot to go. Yeah. But still not to be scoffed at with those guys. Mm -hmm. I think actually for 
our game we're going to do uh, Custodes versus uh, Dark Elder. You should run these. Okay, yeah. But generally, yeah, yeah, you know, if we're. <laughs> Five man scores of witches on foot. Is that what you want as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. Uh, so, just a, a couple of extra units. There are this other units that um, are involved in, like the Beastmasters and mm. stuff. I, I don't think they're that competitive. Mm. Uh, they're fun. Um, the Flyers can go in there as well, but we spoke in the Cabal uh, list. I don't think they synergize very well with the. Uh, no, this sessions. is all close combat, isn't it? Which cops yeah. you want them in a ball. Yeah, uh, and you can take the raiders and the venoms uh, as transports, which I, I, I strongly advocate. Mm. Um, it, again, it gives you that, that extra three yeah. inches when it comes to uh, the disembarking your movement. Yeah, uh, yeah. Overall, guys, I think I actually think the witch cops are a lot stronger than the coven, uh, than the cabals even. Yeah, I. I really do. Like, know. yeah, the, the jet bikes. Well, they Reavers, isn't it? Reavers. Reavers, Reaver yeah. jet bikes. It sounds wicked. But yeah, the, I think that that is where it's at with these guys. Yeah. And we forgot to mention that the actual close combat attack is what you, you, you want to use them for. It's, it's strength four minus one. And um, you can't necessarily... One damage, yeah. One damage. You can't yeah. necessarily buff them, but it's, it's death by... It's, not, it's not bad, is it? No. No, you're not, you're not taking vehicles out with that, but... I think you know you're gonna you're gonna drop them in against one unit. Maybe if you take a big unit, you're gonna tie up something else so they uh, they can't fall back. Yeah. So they're not gonna be getting shot. The toughness five, which means they're they're gonna survive pretty well against um, against small arm fire. Yeah. Were they five up in buns? Oh, no, no five up in bun on these guys. It's just a um, straight four up armor. And then, uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad, bad for a space elf. No, and I, and I think toughness five space elves. They're pretty much unheard of. No, and I I really do think the um. Using that command point to do the minus one to hit plus the toughness makes them a lot more survivable than yeah. they necessarily come across as. Okay, so I think that's about it, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So next we're going to be talking about. See if I can get this right for once. Covens, covens, homunculus covens, homunculus covens. This bloody codex is so complicated. <laughs> Just have to read. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult for you, but don't I worry know, about it. Thanks, man. Right, well, we'll see you next time.